what's up guys so we're gonna use our in motion playbooks and our first play we're gonna go over today is gonna be a runner at first base outfield base hits okay and this ball is gonna go down the left field line but before we get into the play and we play it out I wanna go over where the runner starting so obviously the runner starting at first base I'm drawing my screen so he's at first runner runs to run two bases on a base hit to the outfield so the play is going to end up at three. So obviously the third baseman is out of this play because he has to cover the bag. So in order to get the ball in from the outfield, this furthest point into the into third base, the two middle infield guys need to communicate and work together. 95% of the time, 95% of the time, the shortstop is going to be the guy to go see to get the ball into third base with a man on first on a base hit to the outfield. So. We are going to go over left field, center field, and right field, and I want you guys to focus on how all the blue dots move towards the ball, and everybody has responsibility to create lines to get the ball in from the furthest point in the outfield to the bag where the ball needs to go. So watch the blue dots. Everybody has a responsibility here. This ball is down the left field line. As you can see, the third baseman is going to cover the bag. Shortstop is moving into his position. Second base is going to cover the second base bag. Right fielder drops, and first base is covering his back. Pitcher goes, drops in the line. As you can see, the red lines on the screen all created straight lines. So if the shortstop throws behind the runner, the right fielder is there to back up. As you can see, from left field to where the ball ended up, they created a straight line even past where the ball is supposed to go, created a straight line for backup situations. And if the shortstop decides to throw behind the first behind the runner, the secondary runner, in this instance the first base, then he's got a straight shot over there as well with the first baseman covered. So everybody here has a job. So what I like about in motion playbooks is that when we get to the end here, when we get to the end to the end of the play, let me clear the screen first and get it to the end of the play. If you hover over the bag here, first baseman, stay close to first base looking for a possible throw behind the runner. On the shortstop, second base, cover second on the outside part of the back. As you can see, the right fielder's backing up. Third base is obviously involved in this play because this this uh, this play involved a runner at first base. Remember, we had the runner at first base. He wants to run two bases, right, on the base hit to the outfield. So the play was at three and it was down the left field line. So the third base was covered. The shortstop was the cutoff. Pitcher was backing up, and then of course you got your home plate guy, which is a catcher, protecting home plate. So everybody has responsibility. As you can see, everyone moved towards the ball on this play. Let's clear the screen and watch it once again. Man on first base, down the left field line. Shortstop moves, does his job, gets in line. Third baseman is telling him to cut the ball. Now, if this ball was offline, Either way, this ball is offline. Either way, third baseman's job is to tell him to cut. If the ball is in line and the runner's not a, not a threat, he'll tell him to cut. If the ball's in line to third base and the runner's a threat, just simply wouldn't say anything, let the ball go straight through. So that's a, that's a, that, those are, that's a scenario with the ball down the left field line with a man on first base. Now, we're going to go to center field. Center field, like I said, 95% of the time the ball is going to go through the shortstop, so we can get right into that and move quickly because we already discussed that the runner is starting on the corner of the bag, the corner of the field. He wants to end up, so the middle guys need to communicate, and they're the ones that are going to be responsible for being the cutoff going to where the ball, going to the bag where the ball needs to go. So once again, everybody moves, everybody moves, everybody's moving, everybody has a responsibility here. There's a shortstop lining up to third base. Third baseman, in this case, tells him to cut it because the runner wasn't a threat. But as you can see, once again, they created a straight line to where the ball needed to go. Created a straight line here. If he throws it over, right fielder's down here backing up. If this ball gets over to third baseman, he's got two guys here protected. Because obviously, this... this uh, this is a big run right here. He's only 90 feet away, so we got two guys here backing up. And if he wants to throw the ball behind the first, behind the secondary runner, 
first baseman is there. Everybody has a responsibility on every play. This is why I love in motion play, playbook guys is because it shows you where you need to be. So all you have to do is say to yourself, okay, what position do I play? And there's a man on first base. The middle guys are going to be the cuts. So if I'm an outfielder, I'm looking for one of these two guys flashing. And 95, again, 95% of the time it's going to be your shortstop. So this is a real easy play to remember. All right, there's only one option as an outfielder. Get the ball into the infield. That's your job. Infielder's job is to communicate. Now, this ball is going to be down the right field. Okay, once again, we're going to work through the shortstop. As you can see, everybody moves towards the ball. The ball is a priority. You're on defense. We're defending the ball. And as you can see, the shortstop here drops in his block. Now, let me explain what dropping in the block means, okay? So this is outside the block. And my block is simply my bases, my base path. I call it a block because it makes it just... I don't call it a diamond, I just call it a block just for teaching purposes and I make sure that the position player drops in. So as you can see here, the shortstop drops inside the block. That way he's not interfering with the runner. He's dropping inside the block. Right fielder's trying to hit him glove side, so now he can make a good relay. As you can see, everyone, every single base is covered here. So now the option is, are we cutting? No, and he went straight through in that situation. All right, once again, if this ball is off to the right a little bit or off to the left a little bit. The third baseman has to tell him to cut that ball because it's not online. Now, if it wasn't online right there, third baseman didn't say anything. And that's the cue for the, for the shortstop to let it go through. So those are all your plays with a runner at first, outfield base hits.